satellite of the Earth a quarter of a million miles out in space is our destination. Its scientific exploration by American astronauts will require the greatest technological effort in our history. American industry is the spaceship, and the National Aeronautics and Space Administration is training astronauts for this historic flight into space, to the moon, and home again to Earth. At Cape Canaveral, Florida, the massive space vehicle will be assembled. Saturn, the three-stage launch vehicle, and Apollo, the spacecraft. This 360-foot giant taller than the Statue of Liberty, will carry three Americans into space on a journey to the moon in this decade. This is to be the Apollo mission. During the long final countdown, the three stages of Saturn will be fueled. The flight crew will board the spacecraft. All systems will be checked. And finally, the five giant engines in Saturn's first stage will be ignited. The six million pound Colossus will rise from the Earth. Seven and a half million pounds of thrust will hurl Apollo into space. 36 miles above the Earth, Saturn's first stage will burn out and be separated from stage two. Moments later, the second stage engines will fire. The launch escape system, so vital to crew safety during the first three minutes of flight, will be jettisoned. Saturn's mighty second stage will boost the space vehicle toward orbital altitude, 100 miles above the Earth's surface. After stage two burns out, retro rockets will separate it from stage three. Saturn's third stage engine will accelerate the space vehicle to a speed of 17,500 miles per hour, propelling it into Earth orbit. During Earth orbit, the third stage engine will be shut down. Aboard Apollo, communications equipment will be checked, navigation sightings will be made, and Apollo's guidance system will be aligned. At a precise point in time and space, Saturn's third stage will be restarted, propelling Apollo into translunar flight. <laughs> After five minutes, stage three will burn out and the space vehicle will coast toward the moon at 25,000 miles per hour. Apollo's flight time to lunar orbit will be 65 hours. After passing through the inner Van Allen radiation belt, Apollo's nose cone will be jettisoned and the Apollo spacecraft and the two-man lunar excursion module, LEM, will be mated. Using Apollo's reaction control jets, the pilot will detach the Apollo command and service modules from the adapter which houses the excursion module. He will turn Apollo around and then connect it to the lunar excursion module. He will throttle Apollo's reaction control engines and the spaceships will separate from Saturn's third stage. During the short time required to accomplish this transposition and docking maneuver, the spaceships will coast 6,000 miles closer to the moon. After passing through the outer Van Allen belt, the navigator will determine Apollo's flight path, and if necessary, the pilot will make course corrections. Primary control of the spacecraft will be in the hands of the flight crew. However, ground operational support systems will continuously monitor the flight of Apollo. As 
Apollo nears the moon, its main engine will be ignited to slow the spacecraft and place it in orbit 80 miles above the moon's surface. Two astronauts will enter the excursion module and prepare for the lunar landing. The excursion module pilot will ignite reaction control engines to separate the lunar excursion module from Apollo. Then the descent engine will be started and the two-man spacecraft will begin its descent. As the excursion module approaches the lunar surface, the pilot will throttle the descent engine and the spacecraft will hover. The pilot will select a touchdown point and then guide the spacecraft to a controlled soft landing. Not long ago, the moon was a distant island in space, in sight but out of reach. The United States would have mastered a quarter of a million miles of space when these two Americans set foot on that distant island. After communicating news of their arrival to Earth station, the two astronauts will explore this new land. During their six-hour stay, they will make vital scientific observations, determine the surface radiation level, photograph their surroundings, and obtain surface samples. Finally, their tasks completed, they will prepare to rendezvous with Apollo for the flight home to Earth. In radio contact with the orbiting Apollo, and at a calculated time, the moon ship will rise from the lunar surface, leaving its landing gear and descent engine behind. The moon explorers and the Apollo pilot will be in constant communication as the two spacecraft rendezvous 80 miles above the moon's surface. After the two spaceships rendezvous and dock, the astronauts will re-enter the Apollo command module and prepare for the flight to Earth. The excursion module will be released to remain in lunar orbit. Final navigation checks will be made and Apollo's main engine will be ignited propelling Apollo toward Earth a quarter of a million miles or three days away. During the long journey home, navigation checks and flight path corrections will be made by the flight crew and verified by the Earth tracking network. As Apollo nears the Earth, the pilot will maneuver the spacecraft into the planned entry corridor. Apollo's service module, retained as long as possible because of its vital systems and rocket engine, will be jettisoned prior to atmospheric entry. The pilot will orient the command module for safe entry. Then, at an altitude of 400,000 feet, traveling 25,000 miles per hour, Apollo will encounter the Earth's atmosphere. The surface temperature of the heat shield will rise to 5,000 degrees. After initial atmospheric entry, Apollo's onboard guidance and control systems will be used to establish and maintain its entry path and to direct the spacecraft to the pre-selected landing area. At 25,000 feet, a drogue chute will deploy to slow Apollo and to stabilize the spacecraft. At 15,000 feet, the Earth landing system main parachutes will open and Apollo will descend to Earth. mission, this journey to the moon and back to Earth, will encompass one week in time and over a half million miles in space. It will be the greatest technological accomplishment in our history, 
a towering achievement by our nation in our time. The beginning of an era of exploration and discovery in the new frontier, space.